welcome back. So today we have a ton to do in here. I have clothes over there I need to put away. I have clothes over there I need to fold and put away. I have more washing and drying right now. I've been up since four this morning, guys. So um, need to get the house situated. We have some people coming today to work on the AC. And I know that they go in every room to check the air in there. So I wanna make sure everything's clean. This is like, well, let me just show you. I have stuff over here that I need to go through. I have more stuff over here. This is some Dollar Tree stuff. It's just a shirt um, that I'm gonna be putting together soon. Uh, so have to deal with all that eventually. I'll show y'all what all I got. And then over here in the kitchen, the island's a mess. I have stuff that I need to put away. We went to Sam's Club and I just have stuff everywhere. Uh, we got this big old thing of sponges here that'll last me about a year. No, I'm joking. I will probably cut them in half though and they will last a really long time. Uh, but yeah, I need to get all this cleaned up Get to work on it because like i said we have the ac repair guys coming in drinking coffee rosa <laughs> she's always yelling at me because i say i'm gonna quit drinking coffee and i never do um i need to clean up in here because this is where they are going to be working i think or outside i need to put all that away we have trash over here i need the boys to take out i have more stuff to put away back here this is all just a jumbled mess and it needs to be cleaned. The whole house, you guys, the whole house is destroyed. Um, kids are still sleeping. Uh, so I'm gonna clean the rooms in a bit. I'm gonna work on this area first and get it all situated. seeing Sadie so uh, we did let her come through the house a little bit usually when I'm cleaning I try to have her put in the room or she does love to be outside but I was just looking at her skin and I was like okay no more because she has very sensitive skin and she likes to be outside I think she likes to watch the chickens and all this and that but she she doesn't understand that her skin can't handle it as well so we have to make her come in and usually when she comes in she'll just lay in her bed and sleep all day but she is 
just really nosy and if she, if I put her in the room for too long with me she'll start barking at me and carrying on because she wants to go outside so we'll put her outside for a little while and like I said her skin is so sensitive and I know in the fall and winter she loves it like she will be out there on the porch just laying around all day but like right now she can't do that because it's too hot so I usually keep her out of the videos like I said because she's very big she'll knock my camera over she'll get right under me she's just all over the place but she is in this video just a little bit So I decided to go ahead and make this a uh, part two. So this is part one and I'll, par I'll post part two on Wednesday. I still needed to clean the fridge. I need to go in and organize and declutter the pantry room, the storage area. There's so much stuff in there again. As y'all know, that's like a problem zone in this house because I just throw things back there and it's kind of out of sight, out of mind. My husband, we have some tools back there from projects that we were doing, just a whole bunch of stuff going on. So I need to declutter that whole room. And I felt like the video would be way too long if I did everything on this video. I need to clean the boys' room. I need to declutter their closet really, really bad. And I promised that I would get to that this week. And when I say promised, I promised myself. So I'm gonna go do that today. I just was not able to get everything done in this video also because the AC repair guys were here and I was not about to be cleaning and recording in front of a bunch of dudes in the house. So I went ahead and just started editing on that day. I also, um, there's just so many things I need to do. Oh, I'll probably go outside and clean the porch as well in the next video because it was a mess. Like just a bunch of little stuff. So uh, the next video y'all see we'll be doing all those things. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy this one though and I hope it gets you motivated. We're also going to take a little break from cleaning in a bit and go through some of the Dollar Tree stuff that we found. Me and my mother-in-law went and I found a lot of cute stuff. I don't know when I'm going to bring in the Halloween decor. I'm not a big fan of it. I do that for the kids. I am not into the dark stuff but the kids definitely are and I totally understand it. We did find a, a couple of cute things for Halloween this year. So I'll be going over some little DIYs and making some little arrangements and stuff like that for Halloween. I also need to, after I get done with the house, which is the decluttering and all that stuff, I'm finally going to just sit down and do some projects with my Cricut, get all that stuff situated. I need to really get into some creative stuff because I feel like that's a lot of my problem here. I have been stuck in a repetitive cycle of just doing the same things over and over again every day, which is fine. I need that routine. I, I need that in my life. I can't not do anything. I, I've i tried that route and I just can't. I need to be working. I need to be doing something. I need to be moving or creating. So I used to paint a lot. I used to love making things. I used to do a lot of woodwork. I used to work with my scroll saw. Um, all those little things that I get at the dollar store. I, I mean, at the Dollar Tree, the little wood cutouts. I can make all that stuff and make them my own designs. And I've just lost that. I've really, really lost that. I don't think I've ever even really showed y'all what I enjoy doing, which is making stuff. So. <laughs> I'm going to start doing that again because I feel like it's going to calm my mind a lot. I just kind of get lost into whatever I'm creating. So I just kind of want to get back there again. And uh, so bear with me. We're working on it. I know I've been talking about it for a long time, but 
I really need to do it for my clarity and just to have that outlet. Um, so yeah, we'll get there. We'll get there. As you can see, I'm over here just, you know, living my best life, drinking a cup of coffee, throwing three teaspoons of sugar in there. And last night, I did have a little bit of anxiety, and I know that's from the sugar and the caffeine, so I got to take it down a notch with that as well. I'm an expert at overthinking things that I shouldn't. You come across as a cool guy, someone is the opposite. trying to find new music for y'all in every video it's just really hard they don't give us like there's a lot of options a lot of options but i just it's copyright free music so it's 
different and it's good. I mean, some of it's really good, but it's just different. And <laughs> so it's hard to find new music all the time. And a lot of y'all just like talking and I wish I could talk through 40 minutes, just me rambling on, but I do not have the gift of gab like that. I will start just rambling and nothing will make sense. So I just try to talk every now and then here and there. And I really don't know what to talk about because most people do come to this channel for cleaning motivation. So I don't, I try not to add too much to that. Like if, if at all possible. I know sometimes I do or sometimes I might just go off on a little tangent here and there, but I try to just make it mostly about house cleaning and decor and stuff that actually aligns with the channel. Um, that's just how I try to keep it over here. We are we're trying to decide what to do with the dining room. Um, I did have someone comment and say what they would do and it was exactly what I was thinking, which is just a big canvas and a couple of sconces up there on the wall. And I think that's just going to look perfect. Um, I really want to create different canvases for different holidays, different seasons. So we'll see if we can work on that. But I definitely need some dim lighting over here. We cannot hang a light fixture over the table. Believe me, I've asked my husband. I mean, we can, but we'd have to hire someone and we just can't do that right now. So I am going to just go ahead and put a couple of sconces up here over the dining room table and have a big picture there. I think I'm going to work on that next. I think that'll be one of the first projects I do is to, I have a canvas. I might paint over it. I'm not sure yet. Or if I'll just order a new canvas. Y'all will see, of course, I'll let y'all know and I'll show you the process and everything. I'm going to go ahead and straighten up the room. I have been loving the room since I took that piece of furniture out. I am not dodging my chair every time I go to get in my closet. It was just in the way. It's a huge chair, but it's so comfortable. I know people think I need a smaller chair, but if you spent as much time as I do at this desk, you would want a big comfy chair too. So it's just, I love this chair. It's not going anywhere anytime soon. Um, but like I said, I don't like to keep a lot, a lot of stuff. I don't think every wall needs to have something on it. If I had a huge house, it would probably be the same. Um, we are going to be doing some different things with furniture in the living room probably and maybe the dining room. I'm not sure yet about the dining room because it's already a tight squeeze. Like I said, I just like things to function correctly and if it can look nice, that's good too. But like right now, this stage in our life, I'm just trying to make sure everything is functioning right. Um, I've told y'all this before. When we first moved in the house, I didn't have a lot of stuff and I could like really, really clean the house efficiently. And now the more stuff I accumulate, the more dust we have, the more furniture I have to move and clean behind and just all the things. So, and I do think it's important to not let all the dust accumulate and not you know, you need to move your furniture every now and then and clean behind it. I need to do that uh, immediately. <laughs> no, I'll probably do it probably when I take all the fall stuff down. That's probably something I'll do before Christmas because y'all know Christmas is the main event here. It's my favorite, 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 favorite time. So I'll definitely want the house to be spotless before I start decorating all the Christmas stuff. I also had a comment that somebody really loved the fall tree I did last year right before Christmas. I put up a fall tree. So I basically just take my Christmas tree out of storage really early and I decorate it and I just put fall and fall stuff on it. And it's really cute. Uh, I still need to make a lot of stuff for the fall tree. So... I'll probably start doing that as well very soon. I do have a lot of like the wood cutouts and stuff that I need to paint and do different stuff with. Uh, so yeah, I'll be working on a lot of that stuff coming up. I needed to get the laundry all folded and put away. I have been really bad about that again. I was staying up on it. I was washing every day, folding every day, put it in, putting it away. And then things happen and then I lose track again. And it's piled up. But I think we all go through that or most of us go through that. So it's just life, right? So anyway, I needed to go through here and get everything situated and put away. I look into your eyes. I 
I see we're out of time I guess no one's to blame Nobody crossed the line I guess we couldn't see Somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose too fast Maybe we got too high But I guys had left the reason Sadie was tied up in the room is because I I'm not strong enough to hold her if she decides to go at someone and I had the door open because the kids were in the rest of the house and then the AC guys were in the house so and coming in and out if Sadie sees a man even come near that door there's nothing I can do for him so I did have her uh, tied up we do that if there's guests in the house because like i said we're very responsible with her she's a huge dog and i you know we can't have any of that so <laughs> i have to make sure she's always secure when there's people around but uh she did pretty good that day she didn't bark too much but uh when the guy did come in the room i had to hold her extra tight because like i said she's not having any of that especially when her master's not home which is my husband like he she's his dog so I couldn't control her even if I wanted to if she wanted to hurt somebody for us um she's very 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 protective I'm gonna go ahead and go through the Dollar Tree stuff now I got this little piece which it goes outside you stick it in the ground I'm not sure if I'm gonna put it outside I don't really decorate outside much here it's can get crazy you have to have things like very very secure we live near the gulf so the winds can get extremely extremely high speed 
and it's just not really worth it. I've tried to have outside furniture. I've tried to have so much stuff and it's either going to rust or it's going to get blown away. So I don't really put a lot of stuff outside these days. Um, like I said, it's very open around me. There's a lot of crops and stuff like that. So the wind just really comes through. I'm going to go ahead and just take all the tags off. I'm going to get it all ready to go. I'm not going to use everything today. A lot of this stuff is for Halloween. I'll be taking down some of the fall stuff for the Halloween stuff. So I'll do that later, probably next month, I'm assuming. Um, because like I said, I'm not a huge fan of the Halloween stuff, but I do it for the kids. I found these little flowers over at the Dollar Tree. I think they have them pretty much every year. Yellow is one of my favorite, favorite colors for fall. Yellow and, of course, orange. But yellow is just where my heart is. I also like the maroons and stuff like that. I like to mix all the fall colors up. Um, I've never been a neutral girl when it comes to the seasons. I don't like it. <laughs> I like it in other people's homes, and I think it can be beautifully done. It's just not my style. I take the chance, I mean, I take the opportunity to add some color in my life on the holidays. So I just think it's fun, and it's fun for the kids. And like I said, I've always loved the fall colors. I wish I lived someplace with four seasons. That would be amazing. Uh, but here I am, <laughs> we're in South Texas. So we usually, we just have two seasons. It's either really hot and dry or it's wet and cold. Um, <laughs> we don't like really get those transitions. I mean, I guess I'm being hard on Texas. It's, you know, we don't in the South Texas, we don't get the, we don't get a lot of the fall time. It's, it's very, very warm it can even be warm in December here. It can be like I was sweating at my wedding and it was outside in December. So it's just a Texas thing. So I like to bring all those warm colors in whenever fall comes. And then when Christmas comes, I love the reds and the greens, the very traditional colors. I don't add a lot of different colors at Christmas. I know some people do. I love traditional Christmas colors. I always will. It's just my thing. But I wanted to go ahead and get some of the tags taken off of these so that way I'm going to go ahead and do this assortment over here at this table. I didn't really have anything over here in this corner. I want to get a new lamp. I want to do something different with the living room. I'm just trying to figure everything out. I have some furniture out in the barn that I need to go through because I would like to. I'm really thinking I want to bring the record player back in because I miss it. I miss listening to the records. We do have some pieces to fix it and I just kind of I put it out because I can't really redo it and I would like to, but we'll see what happens with that. I'm not sure. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number, but still I find myself. wanted to show y'all up close what I got. I got these uh, purple flowers with the black and the spiders in them and I really like these colors for Halloween. I would not have these colors in my house the rest of the year. I got these spiders and this little crow to sit on the house I'm going to make. I also got these little pumpkins that light up. I thought they were super cute and like I said I love these colors. All these colors are amazing 
And like I said, I love the yellows in the house when it comes to fall. So I'm going to go ahead and make an arrangement with that right now. I got these. I want to make some kind of lantern. And then this, like I said, I'm going to figure it out. It does kind of fit in here. I don't know what I could do around it, but I'm going to see what happens with it. I make stuff and then sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't, but you can't, you won't know until you try, right? So I'm going to go ahead and put these in here. I should have put some styrofoam in here, but I went ahead and just kind of made the arrangement without the styrofoam to see if it would work. And it kind of did. I don't know if I love it, love it, but I was just kind of winging it on this day. I'm just going to go ahead and fix this up really quick. I hope you are enjoying this so far and I hope it's getting you motivated. We're just about done. And uh, if you've stuck with me through this long, I appreciate you so, so much. And like I said, I'll have part two up on Wednesday where we're going to be doing a lot of deep cleaning, cleaning the bathrooms, cleaning and decluttering the bedrooms, all that fun stuff. So if you're in need of a lot more cleaning motivation, it will definitely be up on Wednesday. I am going to go ahead and just kind of tidy up in here a little more vacuum do some stuff like that but first i wanted to go ahead and put this little thing together we got this little thing at the thrift store and then you can find all kinds of little arrangements of pumpkins and different things at the thrift store i put the fuzzy ones in didn't love it so i went ahead and put just these in i do love the teal color mixed in with this i think it's really pretty that's another pretty color for fall i don't have a lot of it throughout the house but i might add some more here and there because the house is more of a cool tone but like i said i have a good time on the holidays i just throw stuff everywhere and I like it to just be very festive, I guess is the right word, super festive. But I could never have this much stuff out throughout the year because I would go crazy just trying to keep everything clean and organized and clutter-free. And to me, it's really nice and pretty, but it's also very cluttered. Uh, Y'all know how I am. I'm kind of weird like that. I am trying to get out of that where I decorate more throughout the year. I've talked to y'all about that, but... We'll see what happens, hopefully soon. I still didn't get to this little mess in the corner. I kind of have it here because I'm going to be um, doing a lot of stuff with what's over here. So I don't have any place to put it right now. I just need to get the stuff done so that way I can get it all cleaned up and nice. I had boxes back here for days. I still need to get that other piece of furniture out. We'll probably do that today. My husband's off, so we'll go ahead and take care of all that. But yeah, just wanted to tidy up in here. I'm going to go ahead and vacuum the floors and do all that good stuff. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it got you motivated. There's a few minutes left, so don't go anywhere. I'm just going to throw some music on for you. And I will talk to you all in the next one. I love you all so much and take care of each other. Bye, guys.
I'm feeling down, I don't know why, no, it's so surreal. Think I want you here. Oh, 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 oh. I don't ask for much, no, I don't need that much, yeah. I'm feeling down, I don't know why, why don't I? 